Hi, my name is Murli Dev, and my name is Ketan. And uh, today we'll be discussing the um, toughest and the easiest problem of uh, the first paper of the Ramanujan contest. So the Ramanujan contest was uh, started to help students uh, with um, non-routine mathematics uh, contests like PRMO and RMO. Uh, so let's begin. So for this question, uh, we can see that uh, in the question they are asking twenty four A B C by A B plus B C plus C A. Yeah. So the wrong thing to do is simply to take A plus B correct. on the other side. Correct. 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 So what we can do is we need to somehow manipulate with the given quantity to get this expression. So. So ideal linear equation should not contain uh, terms like a, b, b, c, c. Correct, It will be difficult to solve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we can do is, like, we can the final expression looks a bit symmetric. So for the sake of symmetry, city, we can multiply c and divide by c for the first expression. Which is A B C by A C plus B C, and this is equal to one by. C. Then we can do this for the other equations also. We'll get it as uh, A B C by A B plus A C, which is equal to one over four. And uh, the third equation will be uh, A B C by B C plus A B, which is equal to one by five. So what we can do now, we can take the reciprocal of it, and we can add it. Correct. Yeah. It's like one way discussion. Because my method was different. Yeah. So yeah, we will take the reciprocal of it, which is A C plus B C by A A B C is equal to three. Ah, uh, then it is A B plus. Yeah. So this is ah uh, reciprocal of the second equation will be A B by A C by A B C, which is equal to four. The third equation will be B C plus A B by A B C, which is equal to five. Now, adding all this will lead you to give the equation, which is A C plus B C plus A B plus A C plus B C plus A B by A B C, and which is equal to three plus four plus five. Now, after simplifying, we'll get uh, that is two. A- Two AC, two BC. <laughs> Everything is right. Yeah. Yeah. Two BC and two AB. After simplifying, we'll get two times AB plus BC plus CA. By A B C, which is equal to five plus three plus four, which is twelve. Um, and in question, we wanted twenty four A B C by A B plus B C plus C A. So uh, I can just rewrite this equation as A B C by A B plus B C plus C A is equal to one over six. And they wanted twenty four times this. So we can multiply twenty four with LHS analysis, and we'll get the required answer. Which is equal to twenty four by six, which is equal to four. Alternatively, instead of uh, reciprocating after multiplying by uh, c by c, we could have just reciprocated here itself. Yeah, so yeah. then we end up with a. First of all, we reciprocate. So a plus b by a b is three. Uh, so we get one by a plus one by b is three. So doing so, we get one by a plus one by b is three, and similarly one by b plus one by c is four, and one by c plus one by a is five. Yeah, yeah. Now what they are asking is um, 
uh, say suppose some gamma so 1 by gamma will be um, ab plus bc plus ca by 24 abc which is uh, 1 by 24 into 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c so we will get 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c Uh, if we add all these equations, we'll be left with two into one by yeah. a plus one by b plus one by c. So that is uh, twelve. So one by a plus one by b plus one by b is six. So we get that one by gamma is six uh, by twenty-four from this equation. So we'll get it as one um, uh, by four. So the required gamma uh, answer that is gamma is four. It agrees with the yeah, uh, yeah. answer. Yeah, this was a shorter answer. And uh, this was a relatively easy question. Yeah. Let's Now coming move to, to the, the second question. Okay, we left a lot of pages, but um, this is the toughest question of uh, this time. Shaman is in the paper. When we first see the question, what comes to your mind? I, uh, I think of using modular arithmetic or something. Or. Uh, um. Better than that, as a first step, we see cube. So the least thing we can do is write sixteen b yeah. plus one as a cube. This yeah. is a first step. Yeah, correct. You can't simply stare at the problem yeah. and get nothing. Uh, mm. Next thing is. Yeah, I think we can bring the one to the other side. Yeah, standard factorizing. And do some factorizing. This factorizes to. Yeah, now we can do divisibility. Looks like the yeah, best choice. Yeah, because p is a prime, so we yeah. need to use that fact. Uh, there are two ways. Uh, which is better, p divides k minus one or p divides k plus one, k square plus k plus one. This is one possibility. Correct. That is by you are considering the divisibility of the LHS on the RF. Correct. Correct. Or we can do k minus one divides sixteen p, and k square plus k plus one divides sixteen p. Which do you think is better? Um, I think the second one will be helpful to us. Yeah, because there are limited numbers correct, correct. of that type. Yeah. Here you can have many numbers. K yeah. minus one is two p yeah, in yeah. this case. Correct, correct. So uh, this looks like the better choice. So we can uh, also observe one thing that sixteen p plus one is an odd number, so k should be an odd number. Correct. Yeah. Sixteen p plus one can be written uh, assuming p is not two. Yeah, yeah. So we can take two cases. Let's just verify that case yeah. that sixteen into two plus one that is thirty three, which is not a perfect. Correct. Case. Correct. So p has to be odd yeah, prime correct. because odd yeah. prime other than two are odd. So sixteen p plus one is odd. Can you correct. Can Uh, then we have two cases left with us. So again, k is odd number. So yeah, sixteen p plus one is odd. So k cube is odd. So k has to be odd. Correct. And then k square plus k plus one, that is odd plus odd plus one, which will give us odd. Odd. Correct. And over here it is sixteen times p. Yeah. So we have k square plus k plus one divides sixteen uh, p. Correct. Correct. But an odd number can never divide Correct. an even number. Yeah, so that should divide p. Yeah, so we come to the conclusion that k square plus k plus one has to divide. Correct, correct. But now, as p is a prime number, the factors are one and p itself. Yeah, so k square plus k plus one is a divisor. Correct, correct. So there are only two cases left with us. K square uh, plus k plus one should be p, or k square plus k plus one should be one. Yes. Can't be one. Because yeah, if you equate, uh, if you consider the equation k square plus k plus one is one, then, then k turns out to be zero. K is zero or k is minus one, both of which we can't yes. consider. Yes. Correct. So we are left with k square plus k plus one equals p. Correct. Uh, let's take this, and uh, I think we can plug it back to our initial. Yeah, yeah. That will simplify. It. Yeah. So let's just bring this equation. Yeah, 
let's just bring this equation down there. So we have this and we have that um, rating for the 16 p is equal to k minus 1 into k square plus k plus 1. So from this equation we have that k square plus k plus 1 is p. Correct. So 16 p equals k minus 1 into P. P, yes. And Cancelling P on both yeah. sides, we get K is equal to 17. But uh, what did the question ask? Find P or find K? Uh, I have a doubt. How did you conclude that K square plus K plus 1 divides P? So, yeah, I think that needs this step. This step here needs a bit more clarification. So, we have already concluded that K square plus K plus 1 is odd. Yes. So, um, if you see the GCD of k square plus k plus 1 comma 16. Yeah. What, say 16 is of the form 2 power 4. k square plus k plus 1, what will its prime factorization be? You won't factor. Yeah, it will, it will be some random factorization. But, uh, say p1 power alpha 1 into p2 power and alpha fine. 2. But, for sure it does not contain a 2. Correct, correct. Yes, it's all. So, uh, in such a general case, see, well, let's take a specific example. Suppose, uh, let's take 24. 24 is 2 cube into 3. Suppose yeah. you take uh, 16. 16 is 2 power 4. Yes. If if given the prime factorization, how do you take the GCD? We take the maximum of the, like... Uh, minimum. Yeah, minimum of the, uh, like in this case, it's like 2 raised to 3 and 2 raised to 4. We'll take the minimum of the greatest power of the prime number. Yeah, so uh, we'll take the minimum power between 4 and 3, 3 is 1, yes. that's a 2 cube. Yeah. Here we can write this as into 3 power 0, into yeah. 3 power 1, and between zero, 0 and 1, 0. zero. Yeah. So the GCD of 16 and 24 is 2 cube. So doing similarly here, uh, what will be the GCD? Uh, this can be written as 2 power 4 into p1 power 0 into p2 power 0 and so on. Correct, correct. For every prime p appearing in k yes, square plus k yeah, plus 1. Yeah. So what will be the GCD? Yeah, 2 power 0. So uh, It's 1 I guess. Yeah, so minimum power between 0 and 4 is 0. So yeah. 2 power 0. And for everything else, the minimum power correct. will be on this side. Yeah, zero. 0. So into 1 into 1 into so on. So the GCD will be 1. Correct. Yeah. Now, for any numbers having... Uh, 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 GCD 1. Okay. So now let's do a lemma. So if uh, say a number uh, D divides AB and the GCD of D comma A is 1, then D divides. B. Correct. Correct. Yes. It's actually really easy to see this because what is divisibility? If uh, D divides AB, what is it doing? Like it should have a factor of D. Yeah. It's basically looking for primes. Yeah. Like if there is a prime P1, in D, then it's basically looking, is there a prime P1 in correct, A or correct. B? Yeah, yeah. So now we have been assured that no prime is prime in D can be found correct. in A. Yeah, because the GCD is 1. Yeah. So every prime that is found in D has to be found in B alone. Yeah. So D divides B. Yes. So uh, using this lemma, uh, we earlier had that K square plus K plus 1 divides 16 P. We have already proved that GCD of k square plus k plus 1 comma 16 is 1. Yeah. So hence k square plus k plus 1 divides p. Yes, correct. So going back, uh, we had uh, earlier figured out here that k is 17. But the problem is uh, asking us to find p. Uh, find p, yes. So 16p plus 1 is uh, k cube. And k is 17. k is 17. So let's just plug. This is 17 cube, P is 17 cube minus 1 and doing some quick uh, um, quick numbers we get P as 307. Yes. And uh, I think a quick check later can help us verify that P is indeed 307. Yes. So the final expected answer should be 307. Yes. So I guess the overall paper was moderate and uh, some questions were a bit difficult. The group discussion was a uh, bit a challenging question and some few one to two questions in the uh, senior paper was like uh, good good questions fourth was the toughest as we have already said yeah, yeah. and uh, there is that question tenth one was the easiest but overall if you see there were some easy questions like this correct correct and these these things were moderate yeah, yeah. and moderate yeah, yeah. the geometry ones were moderate yeah, except yeah. except this one and 
Ramanujan contest uh, is held on every fourth Sunday for those who are interested. And uh, so the Ramanujan contest is held every fourth Sunday for those who are interested. And the next contest is scheduled on uh, May 22nd. Uh, only one test is done so far. And anyone who answers at least eight tests gets a complete refund of their registration fees. This is a unique and uh, uh, extremely helpful opportunity for students who find themselves interested in math. So. Uh, if you want to register soon, then the link is available in the description below. Thanks for joining us.